What's going on guys? Uh, we're on the road just past um, Cervantes. Um, we're heading obviously up to Exmouth. Uh, pulled over just quickly because I was, I, I was, you know when you get a bit weird and you think you forgot something or you something's not right, so I quickly pulled over and had a look at the new lithium battery that I've got in the back and everything was shut off. I don't really know why. Um, the 100 amp hour battery that I've got has uh, a 25% off cutoff. And um, I don't know, it shouldn't be, I've been driving from Perth to Cervantes, so it shouldn't have, um, it, sh it should have been charging that whole way, basically. So I'm a bit concerned about that, because that DC to DC charger has thrown two error codes since I was looking at it. Um, it was error, um, error four and error two. Um, I did have a surfboard on the solar panel on the roof covering that, but I'm pretty sure when you're driving, it turns itself off of solar and kicks it onto the battery alternator sort of uh, malarkey. And, and yeah, I don't know, I'm a bit confused to why the battery's sort of running out uh, and, and sort of cutting off. And then I've got a jump start. I've got to put some jumper cables on it and, and kick it back into gear. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna stop again in Durian Bay, another 17K, uh, another 17 minutes, uh, 21 Ks, and I'll check it again, see the go. Um, hopefully it's sort of sorted itself out now that I've noticed it. Um, but yeah, stay tuned, it's going to be an epic, epic trip. Uh, Hudson and Amy are in the Prado in front, um, obviously got the boat in tow. Uh, one of my mate lives up in Exmouth, so I'll probably catch up with him as well. He'll come out on the boat, no doubt. Um, and yeah, we're going to have a wicked time. So let's go, woohoo! Righto, so we are now about four hours from um, Carnarvon. Uh, I pulled over in Northampton to sort of check uh, what was wrong with that DC to DC charger. Turns out that Hudson in the Prado doesn't know how to check fuses um, and one of them was blown. So uh, I had to look through the owner's manual um, and actually check what size fuse I should have been running. Turns out it should have been a 50 amp fuse, not a 30. Um, so I don't know where I got the 30 from. Um, luckily I had a spare um, 50 amp fuse uh, lying around anyway uh, so I've just connected that up and now we're all good so we're charging while we're driving baby um, yeah just can't wait I'm on the road now and I'm just stoked um, <coughs> with the um, with the new suspension and the, le and the uh, leaf springs and the airbags that I can't even tell that the boat's even in tow to be honest with you it's it's towing an absolute dream uh, yeah just yeah this tough dog suspension uh, wasn't my first choice to be fair and uh, but yeah I can't fault it so far uh, I got 60 psi in the airbags currently um, and the car is sitting like perfectly level uh, when I'm going uphill when I'm towing this boat, I'm pretty sure it's about one, 1 1.2 ton. Uh, obviously, and then I've got a bit of weight in the back of the car. So I'm borderline um, GVM for the Hilux 2013. But um, yeah, I'm sitting at about 2,000, 2,500 revs doing 100 Ks an hour. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, what else? Let's just get there, baby. Uh, we're going to stop in Carnarvon tonight and um, and sleep there on the side of the road probably. Uh, Hudson didn't want to do the full drive to Exmouth um, on his own. Well, he's got his missus in the car, but she doesn't drive his car. Um, so yeah, we're going to sleep in Carnarvon and then we're going to punch it to Exmouth tomorrow. So I've just passed uh, Shark Bay. Uh, still got two hours to go to till uh, Carnarvon uh, where we're gonna pull up for the night like I said before um, 
I filled up uh, at the shell on the way up here. I can't remember um, what the what the plate, what the little town there is called, uh, like the Billabong next to the Billabong there. Um, it was like a hundred, uh, a dollar eighty, a dollar eighty one uh, for fuel for diesel, and I literally put in probably. 55, 60 liters, it cost me a hundred bucks. Like, really? Fuel is getting ridiculously expensive. Um, far out. I couldn't believe it. But anyway, that's the joys. I uh, kind of wish I didn't have a half a tank of fuel in the boat as well. Uh, that would really probably help the situation. Uh, the fuel sender in the car didn't get fixed when the lift happened because they weren't going to have time before I went away so I just told them not to bother. Um, so I'm just keeping an eye on that myself. Not really not really getting below half a tank because I have run out of fuel when my car said half a tank before now and I don't really want to do that out here because it's a long walk to the fuel station. Uh, I mean I've still got a jerry can but still might not get me to the next fuel station whatever uh, but anyway it is what it is uh, we're gonna have a good time over next mouth hopefully catch some massive fish um, I have absolutely no idea of any spots in X mouth so it really is just gonna be a bit of a wing it uh, kind of thing uh, hopefully my mate that lives up here has sort of figured out a couple of spots since he's been up here for about two years now uh, maybe even a bit more uh, but yeah, hopefully he'll show us around. Um, yeah, can't wait. Bloody stoked, mate. Still about an hour and a half outside of Carnarvon. Um, just sort of got out the car. Just checking all the wheel bearings and that. Making sure you can touch them with a the hand and that. Oh, that one's a bit hot. I've been driving pretty solid. Haven't really been pulling over too much. Just check everything, make sure everything's all good. That one's all good. Everything's where it's supposed to be. Happy days. Motor's still on, which is good. Straps all tight, happy days. That is not what you want. You do not want to see the boat on the road. When I was at the last fuel station, um, checked the boat and the boat was slightly out of its um, little groove to sit in there. Straighten that up, all good. My aircon's just, um, just uh, ran out of gas, so uh, it's pretty hot now. Got to drive with all the windows down. But uh, anyway, it is what it is. I'll get it regassed up in Exmouth. Take a look at that setup. Would you get a load of it? Shee! Hell yeah! Let's go, Exmouth baby. Turns out Hudson wants to go the whole way to Exmouth, so we just fueled up in Carnarvon um, and now we're back on the road. So it's going to be three hours, 24 minutes, um, and Ningaloo Caravan Park is where we're going to stay tonight. Um, so yeah, hopefully you can jump in the pool because I am toasty. Having no aircon in a car really does suck. Um, so yeah. Gonna keep these little videos short and sweet so I can get my windows back down. What's going on everybody? We're in Exmouth. Um, went out yesterday on the boat, wasn't too good. 
but today it's turned it on. Yew! We're on the Tandabitty boat ramp right now. We're gonna head out and head south uh, and just go for a trawl, maybe 30 meters of water. Um, hopefully catch some Mackies or something. One of the local guys has told us that people are catching Mackies out here, so wish us luck. Should be a good day. A bit of a dilemma today. Um, yesterday we were out on the boat and I noticed a load of oil uh, leaking on the deck. So um, I found out what the problem was. It was just, I had a spare two stroke oil for the Evan Road motor. Um, and it was wedged in the side down here and it's like pierced the bottle and then obviously oil just went everywhere. So um, today it's like 40 degrees up here. So I'm absolutely melting, but um, I'm scrubbing the deck. I went and bought some um, degreaser, like engine degreaser, um, to throw on the deck. So that's what I'm doing now. I've got a hard bristle brush, I had to buy a brush, because obviously I don't carry a broom around when I'm camping, but it is what it is. Um, scrubbing the deck, give it a hose down. Uh, I've already put one load on, scrubbed it, washed it off, but um, it was still quite, quite oily like when I was washing it off I could still see oil so I put some more down now I've used the whole one liter bottle so I'm hoping that um, it's gonna be all good uh, after this one letting it sit for a little bit longer as well give it another brush and then I'll hose it off um, and yeah I've got loads of line when we like swap over rigs and stuff we just throw line into the side like into these little uh, runners on the side um, and they were just full of like sinkers and line and whatever so I'm just giving a, the boat a bit of a clean um, and give the outside a clean and give the trailer a wash because I haven't washed it in two days and obviously putting it in salt water isn't good um, so yeah that's that's me for the day and then I'll fillet that fish that we caught yesterday and have that for dinner tonight and my hose just blew so it's all happening today. Right, so we've had a bit of a mishap um, with the boat trailer. Don't know if you can see, but the uh, the weld that like supports the whole front of the boat um, is snapped so I've had to call up a local guy in Exmouth to um, to give us a fix but luckily he's gonna fit us in tomorrow reckons it'll be a pretty easy job uh, but we're heading out to the islands tomorrow um, and see see what we can catch so looking forward to it um, and I think the reason uh, I think the reason for it breaking and snapping that weld is because if you can see there, that, that the hull of the boat isn't actually touching that roller. Um, so all the weight is just bouncing off of that, sending the shock like all down here, down the fucking pole, and then it's obviously snapped it there. So I'm gonna, gonna hopefully try and loosen these bolts off without snapping them, and then push the whole roller up so the boat is actually sitting on that roller. It's sitting on all the rest of them down there, but just not that one. So that's the uh, the go for today. The joys of owning a boat. 
bring on another thousand is the saying and they're not wrong so i'll get stuck into doing that now too much and, and I haven't been catching any fish either so fish are just not biting um, but today we're going for a shore dive with one of my local mates that lives up here um, so yeah hopefully we're, we're hoping some like cold trout hopefully some crayfish uh, secret spot so I'm not allowed to tell you where it is um, but yeah hopefully we get some fish but um, yeah at the same time uh, the ranges up here are, are on fire at the moment, which is a sad time. Um, but yeah, you look out the window here, it's pretty bad. We just went for a bit of a dive and the water was super dirty couldn't see much like a fish would swim out in front of you you couldn't really make out what kind of size it was couldn't even take it um couldn't even really make out what even species it was it was that dirty um so we're just sort of having another drive along this uh track a little secret track no one knows about it um and hopefully we can try our luck a little bit further out um, hopefully it's uh, a little bit clearer water which is weird about Exmouth. Um, I've noticed even when we've been out on the boat like you can dive one spot it'd be super dirty and then you you literally drive like 20 minutes and then find another bombing and it's super clear so always test t test around if you do come up to Exmouth. I would highly recommend it it's pretty wicked up here like if I could if I could move up here tomorrow I'd do it so I love it up here but yeah if you come up to Exmouth, don't just think oh this spot's dirty like the whole ocean is gonna be dirty because uh, it's not it's not like that at all uh, whether you're fishing diving um, uh, what do you call it snorkeling just check out all the different little spots there's so many different spots in Exmouth uh, we're a little bit limited at the moment obviously with the fires you can't get into the national park but um, you know what it is it is what it is you, you win some you lose some but anyway I'm gonna keep driving down this track um, and hopefully we see some uh, better spots and hopefully some bombies uh, up ahead where we can uh, get some food for dinner Yee -hoo -hoo! Woo -hoo -hoo! so I was just uh, driving through the mangroves and uh, I happened to see this guy with a bow and arrow in the uh, in the mangroves 
Uh, turns out it was Field Days, so I pulled over, had a bit of a chat with Field Days. So top bloke, you know, Field Days, if you're ever watching this video, which I doubt you ever will, but cheers, mate. Cheers for stopping, having a chat. Uh, if you ever want to catch up for a beer, mate, always down. Come out on the boat anytime you want. Cheers, mate. Legend. We are taking the boat out today. It's not looking like the best day, uh, but you know, we're gonna go out there, we're gonna go for a bit of a dive, a bit of a flick, um, see if we can't catch something to, to eat because everybody that I've spoken to around town has not caught a thing. And if they have, they're getting eaten by sharks on the way up. So we haven't been uh, getting too much luck. We haven't had too much luck, shall I say. Um, but, you know, it's all part of the fun. Uh, we're spending a hell of a lot of money on fuel and bait and what have you, and, and we're not getting a lot in return. So we've got to get something. Um, but yeah, I'm just about to go fill up the boat now. Uh, and yeah, put the boat in the water. So we'll see you out there. Some fun. I don't wanna fall in love. I just wanna have some fun. I don't wanna fall in love. 